Offensive coordinators gone. Offensive coordinator now gone. Yet Nick Kotite remains. But here, hope everybody's having a great day. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're getting there. So, Brian Johnson is the latest casualty of Nick Kotite's war. He is gone. That means the Eagles are replacing both the offensive and defensive coordinator. And by all accounts, it seems like Nick Sirianni is going to stay the Eagles head coach. And all I can say is I don't know if this is a good idea, but we're going to explain that in a second. Uh, but before we do that, if you're new to the channel, hit that like. Make sure you subscribe to the most censored, the most throttled, pause, Eagles content creator in all of the internet. And I just want to thank you guys for all the support you give to me. It truly means a lot. It really does. There is a ton going on with the Philadelphia Eagles. All right, first thing we're going to talk about, something... Uh, not dealing with the coaches. Let's talk about the players. So the Eagles have announced their signings to a bunch of players um, for future contracts, right? Philadelphia Eagles put this out today. We've signed the following players to a reserve future contract. Defensive tackle Thomas Booker, LaRaven Clark, Shaquan Davis, defensive tackle Noah Ellis, Mecky Gardner, who I like, uh, defensive back Mario Goodrich, who I like, wide receiver Jacob Harris, wide receiver Griffith Herbert, Defensive end, Taron Jackson. Tight end, E.J. Jenkins. Linebacker, Terrell Lewis. Uh, defensive back, Tristan McCallum. Taiwan Mullen. Joseph Nagata, wide receiver, who we liked in, in training camp. Has definitely some talent. Running back, Lou Nichols. Guard, Jason Poe. Linebacker, Brandon Smith. Le Clitoris Smith, center. I don't know why. <laughs> Sorry, I said that. I totally messed that name up. Tight end Brett Toth and wide receiver Austin Watkins, who's the most interesting out of the bunch because of the way he played uh, last year with the uh, with the Cleveland Browns in training camp. Um, so you know we'll, we'll see what those guys do. Uh, right now there is so much in influx. There is so much going on. Right. Uh, first thing, it looks like Brian Johnson is actually gone. Derek Gunn put out a tweet earlier today. And it said, uh, all indications are Brian Johnson will not be returning as the Eagles' offensive coordinator. He will land somewhere else in some other offensive capacity. So Brian Johnson is gone. And, and here's what I'm going to say about that. It had to happen, especially if the Eagles were going to go around uh, or, or go on and keep the coach. But I really think that Brian Johnson, along with Sean Desai, are scapegoats. They're scapegoats. You, you can't tell me that Nick Sirianni called all the plays. It was his offense. Every week he took responsibility for it. You can't tell me that it was his offense, his play calling, and then Brian Johnson is the guy that's got to get fired for it. If that's the case, um, then Brian Johnson is really getting fired because they're not firing Nick Sirianni. They're not firing Nick Sirianni. And the reason why we know this is because he's scheduled for a press conference on Wednesday with Howie Roseman, end of the year press conference. Uh, this is about a week late, but uh, if he's going to be at that press conference, he is coming back. And the Eagles aren't going to announce, we decided to retain Nick Sirianni. They don't want it to be known that he was on the chopping block, but he is. And... Um, <sighs> We'll see what Brian Johnson is. Um, you know, is, was was this Brian Johnson's offense or was this Nick Sirianni's offense? Um, that's the question I have because Nick Sirianni said it was his offense. Now, was Nick Sirianni was he out there taking taking the heat for his his coaches? Perhaps. I mean, we'll see, right? I guess we'll find out. But um, I think Brian Johnson. To be honest with you, my gut of opinion is he was he is getting treated unfair in that uh that was Nick Sirianni's offense now that being said I still think if you're going to keep Nick Sirianni you have to replace Brian Johnson anyways because what what Nick Sirianni 
Nick Sirianni needs a, a, a offensive coordinator with experience, with a lot of experience. And listen, let, let me tell you this. Here, here's, here's what's going on. Nick Sirianni is staying another year, right, as head coach. He's a, another head coach. But do you think that he comes out of this whole mess with more power? Do you think he's going to have more control? There ain't no way Nick Kotite's going to have more control. He's being even more neutered than he was. He is not. He is. He has lost control to the coordinators. He has also lost control to Howie Roseman and the front office. There is no question about it. He had to fire his coordinators, and and I can guarantee you, almost guarantee you, that whoever they hire as offensive coordinator, who I think is going to be Frank Reich, by the way, they're going to be. It's going to be their call play calling. Uh, he is not going to have control of the plays or the play calling next year. There's no way. I don't believe it. The Eagles are not going to keep him. He not only had to get rid of his coordinators, but most likely he had to get rid of any any power or any responsibility to be... Um, what the hell is that? Sounds like a snake out there. I don't like snakes. I hate snakes. But... Uh, Nick, there's no way Nick Sirianni is, is going to have as much control as he, he did this year. And he, they're not going to bring an offensive coordinator that allows him to call plays. They're going to bring out The Eagles are going to bring in coaches with experience. That's what they're going to look for. I, I have no doubt about it. Uh, there was a report that um, the Eagles are, are also interested in Frank Reich. Former, t- uh, former team offensive coordinator Frank Reich has been brought up by Nick Sirianni with the owner Jeffrey Lurie as Brian Johnson's replacement per league source. Reich was with the Eagles in 2017 when we won the Super Bowl. Uh, yeah, Frank Reich makes the most sense. Frank Reich is a guy that could come in, he could call the plays, he has coaching experience, and guess what? Um, Nick won't have to call the plays. It won't be his offense. Nick will just be a front man. He'll be just the CEO, CEO, CEO guy managing the coaches and stuff. That's what they're going to do. He's going to come out of this with less control and less power. Whether you think that's a good thing or a bad thing, uh, I don't know. But you get a coach like Frank Reich, uh, the chances are... Um, you know, if you have to fire Nick Sirianni, you have head coaches, uh, you have coordinators with head coaching experience ready to step in, okay? That's how I look at it. Uh, also, you know, listen, Nick is, it is what it is. We'll, we'll see what happens. Can this whole thing be fixed? Yes. You got to get really good offensive coordinators. And I do agree with the Eagles. Get the best offensive coordinator or defensive coordinator you can. Get ones with coaching experience because I don't know how long Nick Sirianni is going to last. I don't know how much these guys are going to play for him. I really don't. Um, on the defensive side of the ball now, we've got news that the Eagles are interviewing Ron Rivera. Uh, Jeremy Fowler wrote this. Former Pound Commanders head coach Ron Rivera is interviewing with the Pound Eagles for defensive coordinator position per sources. The last time Rivera was a defensive coordinator, his 2010 Chargers led the league in total defense. I absolutely, I absolutely love, love the idea of Ron Rivera. Okay? I absolutely love the idea. Here's a guy that played under Buddy Ryan with the Bears. Right? That great 85 Bears. He was there. He played with them. He also came up as a, what, a linebacker coach with the Eagles under Jim Johnson. His style of defense was... Is what we need. I like the idea of that. But also, don't forget, this is the thing. You get Ron Rivera in and Frank Reich. Let's say Frank Reich's your offensive coordinator, Ron Rivera's your defensive coordinator. Guess what? They both have head coaching experience. If Nick Sirianni has to get canned, if it ain't working out, boom, one of those two guys can step in. It's actually, it makes a lot of sense from an Eagles perspective to do that. Um, But that's exactly what they're setting up. Um, There's also talk that the Eagles are interviewing Mike Caldwell. Um, I'm assuming for the defensive coordinator position, he was fired by the Jaguars as their defensive coordinator. I'm not so much excited about him as defensive coordinator. Now, if they're trying to get him as like a linebacker coach or something like that, I love it. Um, But I tell you what, a Wink Martindale, a a Ron Rivera, uh, both these guys are perfect. I have no issue with getting either of those guys, okay, Um, that would be perfectly fine with me, Uh, either one of those guys work, but it looks like right now, what we're seeing is the Eagles are trying to put strong 
offensive defensive coordinators behind Nick Sirianni, guys with coaching experience, guys that could actually help things. The question that I'll have uh, for Nick Sirianni is going to be, what what does he have left? What is his role? Is he just the CEO? Is he the motivator? Uh, is he going to make roster moves? I'm sure Howie Roseman's going to have more say or just as much say over the roster and the moves that they make already. So it's going to be really, really interesting to see how this thing plays out and how they set up their structure. But I got to think of it like this. Nick Sirianni is going to be retained as head coach for the Eagles, but it doesn't look like when it's all said and done and they hire their coordinators, um, he's going to have as much control as he did in the past. I just don't see how that can be. He, he had to get rid of both coordinators. He's probably going to have to give up play calling. And, you know, it's just... It's just the way it's just the way it goes. That's how it has to be. So we will see. I can't wait to watch this um I can't wait to watch this whole interview or you know, yeah, the press conference and how we and him. I can't wait to hear what they said. Say I'm sure they're not gonna be asked tough questions. Nobody wants to risk it uh, getting kicked out of the overcare. But, you know, we're gonna have to try to read behind the line between the lines because uh, I'm sure there's going to be things said that we're going to be able to take from it. Uh, but Ron Rivera would be a great choice. Frank Reich, Ron Rivera, if those are your two coordinators and you come out of that, I like it. The other reason I like that real quick is both those guys aren't getting a head coaching job anytime soon. So they'll be there two, three years. Might not be a bad idea for the Eagles at all. At all. So we'll see. Uh, with that said, you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Take care, and of course, don't be a dingbat. So did you guys see Zach Ertz sign with the Detroit Lions? He waited all that time to figure out who was going to the NFC Championship game and then signed with him. He might as well sign with the 49ers. They got a better chance of winning. I'm sorry, than the Detroit Lions. But what's he going to do? Fly... Fly to Detroit, he's going to be there on the practice squad for a few days, then he's going to play in a game not knowing any of the plays. Maybe they'll have two or three things for him to run. I don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm happy for, for Zach Ertz signing uh, with the Detroit Lions, but, man, it's going to, it could last all of but one game. All of but one game. Man, he could have done, he could have signed weeks earlier, and we could have probably used him. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. Denzel Washington out.